Well, the last time Teresa and I were in Dallas, we stopped at Mariner Sales and picked up a couple L2 paddle boards. Now, this is something I've been wanting to get into for a long time, so I wanted to give them a shot, see how they felt, and see what we could do with these things. What could we catch off of them? I knew they would be perfect for this area of the Florida Panhandle because, well, they're made not too far from here in Tampa. So, we took them out, got my buddy Justin on it, teresa has been on them. We decided to do a review first of the L2 Fish, which is the bigger boat, so let's take a look at it. Hey, what's happening everybody? Teresa and I are gonna do a review of the L2s today. Uh, we're gonna do the L2 Fish, which is the big pontoon catamaran hull one. So Teresa's first up to bat on the big L2 Fish. This thing is 12 feet long, catamaran hull, pontoon hull. We're gonna try to do this and not get wet, because we gotta get work done in the office. I don't feel like drying off again. All right, so here we go. So Teresa's gonna show you the stability of this guy, and as you can imagine, it's pretty stable. Show them what's up. Stable. So you just stepped right off of the, right. Yeah. in the deep end of the pool too. Mm -hmm. so. All right, now talk to them about it. Tell them about it. Well, for one, it's it's like being on an island. You know, it's super stable. It's flat. There's nothing in the way. One thing when we were fishing, I noticed was that uh, it tracks really well. So that's how you use the paddle. From what I was told. Let's head back to Mariner Sales in Dallas and get Eris to tell us how to use this paddle. Well, they've got they've got stand-up paddle board paddle blades angled mm -hmm. anywhere from you know it's all over the place now, but you know any, anywhere from eight to ten percent, so, you know, pretty much the thing angled forward. And the reason they've done this is so that when you so you can reach further forward when you take your stroke, because a lot of people think that you take your stroke way past when you're taking a stroke, but at that point you're just lifting water up and it's inefficient. So. The goal is to reach as far forward as you can, plant the blade without a lot of splash, bring it towards you in towards your hip. Now, if you can see my geometry here, I've got my hand forward, I've pulled it towards my hip. Look at how vertical that blade is. When it comes towards my hip, it's vertical. That's at its most power. I bring it up like that. I twist it and bring it up, plant it, twist my body to bring it towards my hip. You really don't want to paddle past your hip. And it's a really stable board, super stable. You can sit and fish on it just like this. You can do yoga on it. You can play in the waves. Um, this is a super stable platform. So we put together a couple angles because angles are very light. They're half or less the weight of a Yeti or something. So here's Teresa's little angle to her. She just put some foam on top to make it cushy to sit on. That's concealed. Oh, concealed? Super sticky. So. All right, so she's just going to set that down. I don't tie mine in. I like to move it around the board. I like mine tied in. She likes hers tied in. A little in. clumsy. So I think I'll fall backwards if I don't tie it in. So the, the reason I like the small cooler is because I can carry everything in one haul. The cooler, the paddle, the boat, I can actually carry all that in one swipe. Pretty comfortable on this one. Whoa. <laughs> Watch the, so I guess it's my turn on the L2, right? All right, here I go. All right, so here I go for the L2. This is the deep end of the pool, so. Yeah, get your balance. All right, so it's a really stable platform. So I really enjoy this thing. It's a little more awkward to carry than a, a normal size paddle board like that. But when you're in the water, it's the Cadillac. This is like the pro angler of paddle boards. It really yeah. is. <laughs> yeah. But even so, I can still carry this with one arm, even though it's a little more awkward. The weight, I'll put the weight in the stats right here. It's a, it's a little more awkward, but I can still carry it 30, 40, 50 yards by myself. Teresa and I can grab, grab it like a wheelbarrow on each end mm -hmm. and carry it no problem. I, um, I got my little angle cooler too, and I just kind of plop down and fish off of it, stand up, and I'm moving around a lot. I've got Velcro for my phone on there, and it's just a real stable board. I mean, look, and I can walk around it pretty well. Can I turn around? Yeah. 
This is the one I caught the big bull red on. Bing! Picture. Let's go to the shallow end over here and I'll flip and show you the haul. I guess I'm gonna have to get wet after all. Full maneuvering paddle boards. Alright, so I'm just gonna sit down. I got pictures of me laying on this thing. What are you doing laying down on the job? Oh, um, this is a real comfortable way to fish. All right, so I'm gonna flip this to show you all the hole design. There you go, there she is. That is a tunnel hole, a pontoon hole, whatever you want to call it. That sucker is, it's got two big pontoons on each side and it, that's what pushes back and that's why it's so stable. And that's why we were able to cut into a 12 mile an hour wind head on, no problem. I struggle putting it on top of the car by myself. I, I kind of need help. I could do it, but it's fiberglass, so you want to be a little more careful than plastic. I'll pick it up and try to get it out of here, so I'll show you how light it is, but it's slightly awkward. Pick it up right, on so the deck. It's more just bulk than anything, really. I can still carry my cooler and carry this thing around and set them both in the water. Maybe one trip to it the most. Smaller paddleboard for sure one trip. I like it. It's definitely got a place for fishing. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching Tips with Ty. Catch y'all next time right on 30 Miles Out. Paddleboard!